Welcome to Chart.js uh, training series and in this training series you're going to focus on the line chart and we're going to do a little bit more on the legend. So the legend is something that's really interesting because the legend can also be moved and adjusted and created. So you can see here this is our legend here and very nice but maybe not necessary. In our situation it is completely no value here because you have here already this information here so do we need to put in here basically here you could even say the revenue or sales per product so we would say here let's go to our text here training series and we say here uh, sales of product a so you can see sales of product a so january we didn't sell anything we february we did 10 uh, march 5 etc etc so this when it makes sense so this is useless so how do we remove this well you might say well if you go here we just put the label we hide this label let's save this and let's see what happens yes it is gone or at least the text is gone it becomes undefined but this is not the way how you do it we can just do it quickly with our configurations in configurations you go to legend and then you can say here display true false by default it is always true so options we say here display then we say false comma let's save this and oh let's refresh and you can see it's still working and the reason why is let's look what we are missing here all right so you can see we are in options but we need to use the legend so what i'm what i have to do here in the options we're going to break it down in legends yes and in the legend we say don't show the legend that's how it works and yes save this and let's see if now everything works as we call legend options legend so what are we missing here options you need to put in a semicolon and of course now it works so this is really how we can start with it so there was a uh, things so make sure you put in the semicolon so what can we do more maybe we want to say not display true yes but we want to put that to location so what's the position position uh, right let's save this oh, we have to maybe check for positioning more because there's top left right oh okay so however comma comma right it's a string am i correct it doesn't say oh, yeah it's a string so you have to put double uh, make sure you uh quote a uh, quote that very important refresh there we are all right that starts to look very nice so there are more options here on click a callback that's called when the click events just registered hoover so you have a mouse over event registered things so you can create that reverse label on object all right so this is really how you can work with the legend and then same as well here and oh, you can see all the information here the positioning the label and the configurations there's even still all these kind of color and design the font width the font style let's see the box width let's see if we can even close make that box width even nicer because it looks horrible right now you can say a box width it's 40 by default so and i want to make this 10. comma save let's see how it happens box width does not respond yet the width of the colored box so this one does not respond at all uh, legend label configuration the legend label is less than below using the labels key so i guess this needs to be in the labels of the legend so what does that mean so in here we have labels and then we have this put it in here let's add our box width in here and there you are let's refresh 
now you have it and that's really how it works so what you have to understand here it's simple basically it's very very easy to understand you just have to read to understand where are you in every time you pinpoint here a specific item labels from the legend and same as also goes with the x-axis and the y-axis you can pinpoint there the, the color of the line the grid line all these things etc etc so here we have colors font families paddings and all these kind of options you can even create your own functions in there on point use label will match the corresponding point style oh that's nice however this is things let's see if we can do something more legend item interface yes so uh passing on the legend you can see your string text on click this i will just ignore this for now you can give it some nicer colors it is here labels and then well maybe we can just try one let's see to understand what we're going to do here fill style color generate labels so i'm not sure what this uh, impacts uh, let's try then we say here and then here so it's like you're indenting all the time and then let's get something line dash array number line. i have no idea what this basically does some of these things i i never use i don't even know let's fill style let's see with that this color yeah? so if we put in a crazy color like pink we know that pink will be easily recognized and that does not work and the reason why is not yet explainable let's put this away try again no all right so right now i just have to figure out what's going on here but i'll check that and then later on i'll get back to you on that one but so far understanding that you have to jump in every time if it's a label it's like basically it's a category of a category and probably legend label is nested below the legend configuration in labels let's see if we have it are we in legend and labels in the labels key the legend configuration using the labels key yes well we are in here so however i'll figure this one out so this is right now for now understand that you can jump in here you can play around with this